we've got a lot of birdie potential. Uh, it was last year our team broke the record for birdies made in a season and we returned our core from that squad. Uh, we've added some more guys in here that can also make a lot of birdies and I'm just ready to see kind of what kind of numbers they can throw up. Uh, it's something that we had some good ones in the fall uh, and I think we can have some some more good ones in the spring and so just hopefully we can make a lot of birdies just need to make a few more pars this spring. I think we're really good when we're good. Uh, it's one of those things we've really competed. Uh, we were in contention a few times in the fall and when we're good we're good. Uh, when we're bad we need to be a little bit better. Uh, I think we've, we've got to understand that maybe sometimes five isn't a bad number and just kind of go from there and kind of limit some of the the, the blue the blue squares on this card. Uh, if we get rid of those we'll be fine. Uh, we've just we've got so much potential on this team and just getting a little bit older golf wise I, I think will will help out. We've really worked on our iron play this spring is something we focused on and where we're missing our irons uh, it's something it's easy to always talk about the good shots. Uh, sometimes you got to talk about where you're going to miss too because you're naturally going to and we've spent a lot of time and, and done a lot of drills and competitions you know, focusing on not only can we hit good shots but can we hit shots that are offline and still in, in good positions. Um, really excited to see that work kind of go into tournament play um, and hopefully it pays off. We've been working on our short game a lot. Uh, we, we've got a lot of kids from Europe on the team who really don't play a whole lot of golf in the winter or on you know, dormant grass. Uh, so it's something to make that adjustment to the to dormant Bermuda. Uh, it's a lot different than bent grass uh, right off the cuff. Uh, so some of the younger European players just getting used to that, making that transition coming back in, having to be ready a little bit earlier than when they are at home. Um, and then just naturally it's, it's, it's harder to get the ball up and down this time of year. Uh, not, as, not as much grass to hit off of. So making a little bit of transition there and just working on you know, getting the ball in the hole when we have to. I expect Fred to step up. Uh, Fred's a first time team captain this year and you know he's done a fantastic job so far. Uh, he's continually stepped up every time we needed him to. Uh, he's made the lineup for the first tournament and I'm ready to see what he does on the course. Uh, what he's done at home has been fantastic and I think it's going to translate over into his golf game as well. Main key is staying in the moment. Uh, we've talked about it a whole lot over Christmas and January and February as, as we're getting started is just focus on us and focus on what we can control in that moment. Uh, not try to think too far ahead. Uh, we've got a lot of lofty goals for this team, but at the end of the day, we can only focus on what's in front of us. And if we do that, uh, hopefully we'll be in a good spot come late April. Uh, we're really excited. Um, it's been something to see uh, the old USA South kind of break up. Uh, and see a lot of good golf teams go different ways. Uh, it's been fun to see everybody at the tournaments and everything, and then just kind of meshing in with the ODAC coaches, building some new relationships there uh, with some people that I wasn't as close with the last several years. Uh, all the coaches have been great. Um, you know, really excited for the, for the conference tournament, our first conference tournament in the ODAC. Uh, it's, a, it's a new chapter uh, in a storied Averett golf history and um, hopefully, hopefully we got a chance to win the ODAC championship. Our freshmen have really mixed in with our returners uh, very well. Um, it's been pretty cool to kind of see them come in and it's felt like they've been here a lot longer than just a few months. Uh, that bond that that team has created so far has been awesome uh, and they bring a lot of potential uh, to this team. Uh, we're going to have a few freshmen get in the lineup. You know, Max was in the lineup all fall. He's the ninth ranked player in the country right now as a freshman. That's always, that's always nice for a coach to have. Um, but we've also got some other freshmen that I wouldn't be surprised if they jump in the lineup um, as well. Uh, just a lot of firepower. And I think it's just, just need to get some age.